Hi, I just wanted to talk about the energies and to send you some energies. We're in such a heightened space as the galactic activation days continue that are going to kind of, we'll say, peak around 2 to this week. So we're still in such a space within these energies. We're also getting ready to celebrate in bulk. And a lot of people are coming to me and asking me about this day. And basically, we celebrate the wheel of the year. And a lot of our current kind of, we'll say, calendar systems, cultures, and different traditions even cycle around that wheel of the year, even kind of spread out throughout the world that a lot of the current systems kind of cycle around that as well. And there are eight times that we celebrate. And so this is kind of a midpoint day, but it's also a really big gateway. Basically, it's a halfway marker between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. So we're kind of almost there. And so the spring equinox is in March and it's going to bring a big energy this year too. That's why we're seeing such a big energy within this gateway. It's an amazing time to connect with the divine feminine, to connect with the goddess or even Bridget. It's an amazing time to have a fire celebration too. That could mean burning and releasing things just to celebrate or even just to purify. So fire is always a powerful energy. Energy, and we're seeing the sun on fire too, where within the past few days, we're seeing the sun awaken and we're seeing so many solar flares that are coming in, kind of shaking things up. And that's exactly what we're celebrating as the sun is becoming more active in this space too, kind of bringing in more of these energies. This is also a thin space in the veil. It's a time to be connecting with the other side, whether that means your spirit guides, loved ones, or even just kind of bringing through downloads and information. For some of you, that may mean galactics or just the guidance coming through from your angels. So it's a really good space where we can tap in and tune into the spiritual on greater levels as the energies are kind of thin within the veil. That means you're seeing more. Pay attention to the guidance that comes through during these times of year as well. Sometimes we're not able to see as much and we're kind of within the physical. And when we move through these gateways, we have a sense of clarity, a heightened sense of intuition. For some of you guys, you might be having more dreams, more dream experiences, visions, just tapping into your intuition and your guidance more. Really pay attention to what's kind of coming through. This is a time where the fairies come out too. Time to celebrate, right? There's times where the fairies kind of walk between our dimensions and that means that all of the spiritual kind of opens up too. So there's a lot more activity too, energetic activity. And we're being reminded that we did come here to create heaven on earth through the manifestations that we're bringing through and also bringing more spiritual energy into the planet. So you're being reminded that you're a powerful co-creator as well too and that you co-create your reality and you have such a potential to create positive energy energies within these energies all about manifestation right now and tapping into your potential. Make sure you're staying really positive right now. If you want to see better results with what you're trying to create or manifest, it's up to you to just stay really, really positive. That's going to bring bigger shifts and bigger manifestations into your reality. So a lot of this is kind of clearing outdated programming, staying more positive. We're being encouraged to heal within these energies too. That's what they're here for. And while they may be pushing a lot of the planet into a healing crisis, it's only encouraging them to awaken more within these energies. So there's a little bit of a resistance going on. Um, it's up to us to kind of push past that resistance. We have a lot of crown chakra activations kind of going on within these energies too. They're very spiritual, coming straight from source. A lot of galactic energies too. So they're always amazing energies to be using for doing clearing work, healing work, but also kind of bringing through healing, recharging our life force right now, connecting with these energies. So powerful energies right now if you guys are trying to rest and kind of recharge for the week ahead. And we're going to kick off this week with that Monday Aquarius new moon, which is so powerful for manifesting. It's bringing through your dreams, instant manifestation, a chance to kind of bring a plot twist into your story. And then of course, Tuesday, we have embolic, which is going to bring a high energy. And then we have the 2-2 porthole, which is such a big porthole too, such a big gateway. And it's also going to be one of the last days of some of these galactic energies that are coming in too, and probably the peak of them too. So we're kind of feeling the galactics a little bit extra. You guys might be resonating with these high frequency energies. See how you're feeling within them. And so we can kind of pay attention to it. Some of you guys are vibing really, really high. Some of you guys might be kind of feeling um, different spectrums of it. Just see how you're feeling. That can give us a clue as to what work we're supposed to be doing. Everyone has work that they're meant to be doing. Healing work too. We have a lot of inner child and past things coming to the surface that needs to be cleared so that we can move to that higher frequency. So just kind of pay attention. We're all being encouraged to take care of ourselves better 
more within this shift too. So we have such a focus on self-care going on right now. Some of you guys might be kind of feeling that within these energies. They're bringing a dreamy vibe too. So some of you guys are kind of tapping in um, that you guys can manifest easier. It's becoming more dreamlike, becoming a little bit lighter as you're doing that inner work. And this gateway is kind of showing us that these energies are much lighter, especially for those of you guys that have been working on your light body a lot. Let's see, right? So powerful energies um, coming at us. It's a good time to really focus on manifestation, but also a time to declutter energetically and even your space. Some of you are uh, making big shifts or getting ready to, and you might be feeling or sensing that, moving to new timelines, being encouraged to declutter your life. A lot of you guys are holding on to past energies through holding on to you know things within your space. Maybe you're being encouraged to spring clean, to declutter, to clear any kind of attachments, um, relationships, no longer serving you, you know, things that aren't really bringing you joy in your life. And the more that we're making room, the more that we're decluttering, the more we can bring the new through too. So a little bit about spring cleaning vibes, connecting with the energies coming in, and then just taking time to rest and recharge, but also putting that effort into your healing right now and knowing that that's where we're all meant to be, just kind of continuing to clear and heal things within this space. I'm kind of doing <laughs> van life over here. I am over here. I have um, journeyed over here from England to back to America and my boyfriend's going to join me here and we're going to go um, check out things like Shasta and different kind of things over here and so he's going to be joining me over here we're going to be kind of getting back into nature pay attention if you're being guided to build conscious communities, come together with other groups, start new projects, get back into nature, unplug, right? Go off grid, pay attention if you guys have any of that kind of inner calling going on right now and where you're being guided to. Some of you guys are being encouraged to maybe move from where you're living, get out of certain areas, um, reassess where you're living, get more into nature during this time to pull back with things that are happening on the planet. So just kind of pay attention to the different kind of inner callings that are coming through too. We're kind of being guided and for some people that can mean different locations right now, new timelines, you may have new people entering your life, new relationships, new connections. Just kind of pay attention and know that you're always going to be guided and supported on your path and set what you need in the divine timing. So pay attention to new connections opening up or if you guys are being guided to new locations or even new timelines right now. The energies are feeling so high today. That grid is so high. So it's an amazing time, like I said, to be kind of getting outside, to be really recharging within these frequencies. Soak it up right now. You guys are going to be needing it for the week ahead, right? So it's a good time to be focused on just kind of taking care of yourself, ways you may need to take care of yourself better, things that if you guys are spreading yourself in, ways you should be kind of taking care of your energy better, how you're feeling energetically within these energies. And I'm sending you guys such good vibrations. I am doing Pyramids of Isis class on mo uh, Monday, which I'm really excited about, Egyptian Heal. I love connecting um, with the goddess Isis. I have a strong connection with her and I'm going to be kind of doing this healing method. Beautiful. I'll go ahead and pin the link. That's my next event on this video. So um, for you guys that are trying to join, we're just going to be, I'll send you the handbook and then you guys just join the group and we're going to cover it on video in there. And it's always a beautiful healing kind of, um, we'll say system and things like that. I'll go ahead and pin that link if you guys are trying to find us. So I won't be live for cards until Tuesday, I see. Um, but, and I think I have meditation that day, so maybe it'll be like Wednesday. So I'm doing Pyramids of Isis on Monday, Meditation Tuesday, and then I'll be back for cards on Wednesday. So I'm sending you guys a ton of love and light. Check out our events. You guys can find them in our shop or on my event section. Sending you such good vibes.